Hello and welcome everybody to today's Inside Health Apps Thursday Live. I am Denise Arminio, Certified Emotion Code, Body Code, um, Genius Biofeedback Practitioner, and Certified Group Energy Facilitator. I'm here today to help go over and do a little training for you on how to uh, use the Genius and run a uh, a session, how I would run a session on the Genius, and also here to answer any questions for anybody that may have them. If you have a question, please put it in the chat and either I will answer it or um, Claire will answer it. And I just want to give a shout out to Claire McIntyre. Hi, Claire, who is helping me with answering um, it in the chat room. So with that said, um, do I have anybody that would want to be a volunteer today. Um, looking for people who have not already been a volunteer. But if there is someone new um, in here today that would like to be a volunteer, please let me know in the chat. Otherwise, we can um, just start our session. Um, Jennifer, have you, um, been a volunteer before? You can turn I your, did. I did a long time ago, but if nobody does, I'm, I'm just really sick. I've had a fever of 103. So if nobody well, does, I, I would be happy then to help you and see, and this is always, you know, this is a great, um, time to just show the effectiveness of the genius. So um, why don't we just move ahead and do a um, thank you for volunteering. And let me start sharing my screen. And would you, actually, I'm not going to share my screen yet. I am just going to um, go to my genius. I should have you, um, already set up in my genius. So just give me a second. I just want to protect your information here. Okay. Um, um, what is your last name? Rose, like the flower. Oh, okay. So, hmm. I don't have you in here. So you want to type in the chat your information and I'll enter it in. I don't know why it's not in mine. Oh my God. So that's your first and last name and then I just need your birth date. Okay, got it. Hold on, let me just add that. That's my best friend's birth date. <laughs> okay, so um, everybody that is, um, I just filled out the information on the user record page, that first page. I'm just going to continue to analysis just to protect um, her birth date. And... Now everybody should be able to see this, the, all the information here. So this page is basically for the user just to have notes on the um, session and that they can keep a record of it. It's kind of nice to be able to go back and look at it. You do have to, um, when you go into access client records, in order to get back to this page, you need to, it will say edit. And when you hit edit, that's when you can get back to this page and add information. So for me, when I start with a new client, I would put today's date and then, you know, what we're going to work on. And so Jennifer, you have a bad cold. Yeah, 
probably the flu or just high fever. Okay, let me. I have put a request in to increase the size of the font here. So hopefully we can get that done soon. Um, so um, high fever, cough, what any with sore throat, what? Underlying cough, um, a little bit of congestion. Um, it started out with a migraine, but that's a little bit better now. Mostly it's just a stupid fever. And no sore throat or anything like that? Uh-uh. Okay, so basically, on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being severe, how would you rate how you're feeling? Uh, about a 7. Okay. So let's see if we can approve that. Um, we could if there was anything in here. Um, I don't know if you have any back pain, neck pain. Back pain, neck pain. Okay. Neck pain, back pain, joints. Okay. Joints hurt. Joints. And is that just because you're sick or is that all the time? Um, probably because I'm sick, but yeah, I do have back and neck issues. Okay. Any anxiety or. No, pretty good. Okay. So I'm just going to hit done here and begin. Okay. And so I'm going to take your voice. I will count you down. I'll say three, two, one, begin. Um, and then just say your first and last name and repeat the vowels A E I O U until this 15 second counter gets to zero. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, begin. Jennifer Ann Rose A E I O U. A E I O U A E I O U I am healthy Jennifer Ann Rose A E I O U Perfect thank you. Okay so on the bottom left it says voice harmonics. This is um I suggest everybody always play this um after a recording is done. It shows you how the genius has translated your spoken word into a frequency and it also does have healing benefits as it works um, similar to a homeopathic where like cancels out like. So I will play that for you right now. Okay, so now we can just select next. Do you want to bypass the picture? I'm guessing you're not really feel like <laughs> coming on camera. Not really. If I can bypass okay. it, that would be great. Yeah. Bypass it. Um, you know, I always recommend that you put in the voice and a picture, but sometimes we can't always do that. So I'm just going to bypass the picture. I am going to add an energetic affirmation. So I'm going to select yes, and I will put okay. energies are transmuted into the frequency of pure love. And so it is. And let's just add my immune system is functioning optimally. Okay, and now I'm just gonna hit begin analysis. Okay, so everybody that is either using the trial or has the basic version or has one of the packages with the genius, um, it has, you'll always see the three categories, biofield, body, and mind. 
after the genius um, does the analysis, it will then order those three categories in the order that it sees the priority to work on. Um, if you have either created libraries or have purchased libraries or someone shared libraries, you will see this custom libraries banner and that will always remain at the bottom. That doesn't, um, that is not included in the, um, you know, in, in when the genius runs, orders these in priority. So first I just want to go over a little bit of what the colors and the numbers mean and some other important information about the genius. The genius uses a numerical value system and that the range on those numbers go from zero to 777. And actually it's really one to 777 because I've never seen a zero. So the lowest you will see is a one. Um, and the lowest range is observed is represented by the color blue. And it is observed to be chronic energetic disturbances. So the, the items that are in this range and are represented that you see by the color blue have been out of balance for a longer period of time. These items are referred to also as stagnant energy. Sometimes you might hear us refer to it as under ener energy and items in this range are causing some kind of crisis on the body. So these um, items that are blue are important to work with because you want to clear that crisis that it's causing. The next range goes from 201 to 450. That's represented by the color green. From there, we go to the next range, which goes from 451 to 600. That's represented by the color yellow. And then lastly, we have 601 to 777 which is represented by the color red. Red is observed to be acute energetic disturbances, meaning that it's out of balance right now in the present. So um, it can also be referred to as heat or inflammation. You might also hear it referred to as over energy. And items in this range that are represented by the color red are said to be putting stress on the body. So these are items that have just come into your energy field and they're probably, they're, they're not, they're getting a little bit stuck. So it needs a little help um, moving these frequencies out of your body. And if you don't move them out of your body, eventually they will become chronic. So that's what we're trying to avoid here. Also, the problem with um, having these frequencies that aren't just moving through your body is the longer they sit there, like attracts like, and they will continue to attract more frequencies of the same, which then make it harder and harder to clear out. So it does make a great case for why you should use the genius for daily maintenance, because you just want to work on clearing out as much of these red frequencies and blue frequencies um, for to maintain your health and wellness. I do want to mention that um, all of the genius is not diagnostic in the allopathic sense. So you cannot take the results that you get here um, to um, a doctor to say, run a report, but I will tell you they are extremely accurate. And I can give you an example. I have a friend who has been having, um, pain in the back and down the legs had an MRI and the MRI came back and said that, um, herniated disc and problems with L4 and L5. So curious me, ran a scan right away. And lo and behold, what showed up in blue on the bottom was L4 and L5. So although it is not always diagnostic, it is very accurate. Um, and basically the reason it's not diagnostic in the sense of the tests that we're looking at is because we're looking 
doctors tests are looking at more physical results. They are testing the blood and quantities, and then they come with like a range. We're looking at the energetics of something. Now, if you're looking at viruses or bacteria, they have an energetic component and a physical component. So you can clear the physical component and sometimes the energetics doesn't clear. So that's why it would show up on a scan. So it doesn't always necessarily mean if it shows up that you have a virus or you have a bacterial infection. Um, and the other thing is that bacteria, we also have good bacteria. So um, it doesn't, it's not specifying if the energy disturbance is um, what kind of bacteria it's with. So that's just a little bit of information there for you. The other thing I always people always ask and they get confused about is numbers in the low range aren't um, determining a deficiency and the red isn't an excess. It's just on how long it's been out of balance for. So I just want to make sure that everybody understands that. Um, and then... So that's on the reds and the blues. So what do the greens and the yellows mean? For me, I like to keep um, the range tight. So for me, when I work, anything that is not between 400 and 600, anything outside that range, I will work on the, those frequencies. So based on the number system, for me, everything that's yellow is within that 400 to 600 range, actually yellow is from 451 to 600. So yellow would all be like, okay. And then you're going to have some in the green at the top part of the green from 400 to 450 of the green, that would be okay. So when you see me working a lot of times, I might drag the reds, the blues, and the greens in. However, I would recommend if you are just starting out with the genius to um, just work with the reds and blues until you get comfortable working with the genius. And then you can kind of broaden the different frequencies that you work with. You'll understand it a little bit better that way. Um, on the left-hand side, you will see arrows. These arrows are telling you that there's, it goes a level deeper. Um, so if you were to click on the arrow, let's say next to the left of spiritual protection, it shows you everything that's within that panel. The, um, I don't know, the score or the number that represents that frequency. The magnifying glass, if you press it, will just give you a brief description. To close it, you just click on the arrow again. And if you click on the line, the red line, it will then give you the same information, but just a slightly different view. So you will see in chronological order now from highs to lows, what your reds, greens, in this case, there's just reds, greens, and blues. So for me, I would enter all of these in. Usually I would enter everything in the spiritual protection ever anyway, because I think that that's a really important panel to work with. Um, but, um, Jennifer, we will work with all of these. So let's start now with my first steps for when I start working with someone, my first two steps are always the same. So if you have the bioterrain package, it's nice and easy for you. It has a priming vessels panel in there. It says begin, and that's what I always use first. If you don't have that, I would add everything from the bio field. And then um, from body, I would add minerals, vitamins, and amino acids. Because we do have it, I'm gonna add that, but I don't want to forget to get your aura picture. So let's just click on that. So to get your aura picture, you click on the line for aura. Here is your aura picture. If we hide the avatar, 
we can see a little bit more of the information in here. We're looking for bright, vibrant colors. They are the, um, you will see the seven colors of the chakras in all varying tones. The brighter the color, uh, the better it's going to um, represent more of the positive attributes to that chakra. The darker the color would represent more of the negative attributes and very pale colors indicates that um, not a lot of energy. So maybe the person is feeling fatigued or tired. Um, and you do want um, the different layers here are the different layers of your auric field. You can switch to the old up top and that just gives you a different um, way to read the aura. It gives you different information, but on a very basic level, what I recommend everybody to look for is that there is color in all four corners. Um, and I believe that to be the case, although um, Jennifer, these colors are a little bit dreary looking, um, which is probably how you're feeling. So we'll try to hopefully to work through that and get some of this um, haziness um, out. Also, the last thing, which I didn't show you is um, in this, you also want the um, layers to be really clear and vibrant and not look dirty or muddy or kind of blurry that um, indicates it could be stagnant energy or interference or some real negative energies that are in there. Um, so we will work with those. Now I'm just going to go to my custom libraries. And I will also show you, um, Claire put in the chat that you can select optimal immune in the frequency shape uh, and form in the back office. And I will show you how to do that in just a minute. <laughs> Okay, so now that it ran the analysis on the libraries, I'm just gonna hit the, the on the top right corner, the three bars, we ca call it the navigation bars, or sometimes we like to call it a hamburger. It takes you to the back office. So if you scroll down, you can go to frequency, shape, and form. I like to keep it on activate, archetype, and coding. I keep it at 50%. Um, I have it on nature sounds, um, but down here by binaural beats, which is what Claire wrote in the section, we could take off deep sleep and relaxation and we can, um, I know it's oh optimal immune and we can add that in there as well. So we can try that. Um, these toggles are just adjusting the sound and how you hear it. So you just kind of have to play with those and see where you like it. Um, and the other thing that is important is I like keeping um, the waveform on alternating because we would be working with all different um, types of items and they some of them work better with sine waves, some of them with square, some of them with sawtooth. So if you have it on alternating, you're making sure that you get them all. So I'm going back to the um, custom library. And if there's this black tab in the center, which is like a search function, and I'm just going to type in bio, oops, bio terrain. And here you could see it says begin because this is the library I always begin with. And you can drag the whole title down into the main hold tray, just click on it and hold it. You could see it like highlighted and just kind of motion down to drag it in. You can see it down at the bottom. It does set, say it that it added a 165 items. I am not bothering to look at what colors they are because I want to make sure that we're working with all of them because the importance of working with this is just to make sure that our body is prepared as best as it could um, um, to take on more frequencies, much like you wanna have a strong foundation in a home 
and you wouldn't put in windows before a foundation, you would do the same thing here. Why do you, why, so somebody, Tammy is asking, why do I use archetype encoding? Archetype encoding is um, how it comes up with the frequency. So it's much like the letters and the numbers when they're put together um, uh, generates a frequency and it's like a fingerprint, you know, where love is always going to have the same frequency. Um, your my name is always going to have the same frequency. When I add my last name to it, that's a different frequency, but it's still the frequency for me. It's just more specific information. Do I don't change that. The only time um, I would change the archetype encoding is when you do an update, all those settings in the frequency shape and form will go back to default. So just remember after you do an update, that you go in there and you put it on the settings that you like. Um, okay, so now I have the 165 items in the main hold tray. We do have three ways that we can balance. We can balance um, with the quick zap, which you can't see here right now, but the quick zap will just balance the reds and the blues on whatever the pages that you're looking at. And you, the timer for quick balance is always on the right side of the screen. So you can just adjust that to either being on zero minutes, which can be anywhere from zero to 500 minutes until you manually stop it or um, one to 30 minutes. And quick zap is much is very similar to the main hold tray where you can drag and drop different items into each tray. The only difference is, is that the quick zap will just run the frequencies of each item that is put in the tray and the main hold tray goes a little level deeper. And I'll show you that now you get there by on the bottom right, you see the little play button and it takes you to progressive insights. So how this is different now is that the genius uses algor algorithms um, to tell you what the relationship is between all these items. So in other words, when the genius does the analysis, it looks at each single item and the frequency of that single item based against you or your client's energy field and determines whether how much it's in balance. So it might be 450 and it may be completely um in that normal range when it's just looked at by itself. But let's just say, I don't know, that item was vitamin B or vitamin B12. It may have been normal, but now when the genius looks at it in a group of different frequencies, it's possible that it's it's not balanced anymore when, you know, different things, you know, like when playing in the sandbox, when everybody's in the sandbox, they don't all play nice together all the time. Well, they may not all be happy when they're in a group with different frequencies. So you don't want to overlook anything. So, okay. So now we have all these items in the tray and I'm just going to hit begin analysis. <laughs> And I'm going to select all and um, the timer I'm going to put on one minute. I always like to start with one minute. More is, um, does not necessarily equate to better. Um, when running frequencies, I find that short spurts are more effective unless um, you're dealing with a trauma situation that just happened. Then you may want to run the frequencies longer or overnight. Um, or even sometimes working with parasites, you may, Debbie Drake um, suggests that um, there's a 17 minute kill time to working with parasites. So you would want to work in increments of 17 minutes. So, but most of the time I will run short spurts and adjust the length based on the percent rectification that we receive. So let's just run play.
average percent rectification is 49. So that is excellent. And the other thing that I look at, and I'm looking at these numbers at the bottom of the page in, in the black um, area, um, that average is consists of the percentage from harmony, alignment, and energy flow. And I always like to look at the, the high percentage and the low percentage and make sure that range is within 20. I don't like to be over 20 because it suggests to me that it may not be as stable. It could be thrown out of balance a lot easier if other frequencies come in. So that is not the case here because 43 to 57 is um, beneath, is less than a 20% range. So that's great. Um, this is a demo. So I'm not going to, well, what I would do here actually is I can rescan. It's above 49%. So if I rescan, it will just be a probability, but it's kind of going to show me, okay, now that we have 49% on average that um, rectified or harmonized, what, how do they all um, like match up now? So let's see. <laughs> Um, and now we can run the lows and the highs. I'm not running the mediums here. And I'll put the timer on zero and just see if maybe we can get a little bit um, higher rectification now. So we're at 15% now, um, and it goes from 7 to 24. So it is um, somewhat within that range, but I would deselect the highs and just run the lows for a few seconds and see if we can get that up. You know, I don't know how that got selected, um, the electrolytes, but... You know, sometimes there are no mistakes and knowing that you're sick, you may need electrolytes. So I kept that back in there. So I'm just going to run the lows and that one medium electrolyte. average um, percent rectification of 42, which is excellent. And it's really tight. Energy flow and alignment are both at 44% and your harmony is at 39%. So that's really great. I'm super happy with that. So now we can back out of here. Um, I will click on the up arrow for the main hold tray and I will clear all these. So now we can go back to the system overview page and go into the general overview. The way you get into the general overview is by clicking on system overview. And the reason why I love this, the general overview is because the genius takes all the, all the items from the system overview and all the items from all of my libraries and puts it in chronological order. This allows us to see all the top reds and all the bottom blues and um, especially the blues are more than likely going to be the underlying causes for most of the things that are going wrong with you. So this really gives us a chance to look at items that we wouldn't have thought to look at. So I do have 
probably close to 80,000 items in here. So I couldn't add all the blue. There would be way too many. And I do want to stress this because um, someone had mentioned to me that they used the general overview and they added all the blues and there were 17,000 and they ran it for a few minutes. I would never suggest that. That is way too many frequencies to be running. I like to keep it no more than 200. Sometimes I've gone as much as 300, but um, really you're going to push the body too hard by um, running that many frequencies at one time. I mean, 17,000 is just so, so many. Um, and it could give you some, um, put you in a little bit of a healing crisis or just overstimulate you. You just might not, feel so great. It's not going to hurt you, but, um, it just might put you, it, you may not feel good for a little bit. If it does put you in a healing crisis, again, a healing crisis may not feel great. It's not really a, it, it means your body's healing and it's doing what it should be doing. So that's the good news, but sometimes, um, it doesn't, you have to go through a little uneasiness to get there. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to look, work with the blues first. So I'm going to click the zero to 100 up top. So it switches the views. So we can see here that's one thing that's coming up is the gro growth hormone. We see um, some essence and essences for angelic awakening and empowerment. If, um, frequencies for an eye form formula, snake venom toxins, vision and eyes. Um, Jessica, how are your eyes doing? Only because there's two um, items that have shown up for eyes in here, right at the bottom. So just curious. Um, my eyes are okay. I mean, I wear glasses, but. Um... Okay. But you have glasses. So maybe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's, this is, might be why. So anyway, I'm going to add the bottom 50 because I can't, again, for reasons I just gave, there would be too many um, here to add all of the frequencies, but I can remove all of the custom libraries now. And now I'm just working with all of the line items from the system overview page. And I can add all the blue items here. So now I have like 173 items. So now we can go back and click the play button. Oh, actually, we could just look at some of these. So we see some meridians off, some spinal energy is off. Um, today's stress nutritional. So make sure you are get some chicken soup and minerals and things in your body. And once again, I'm going to turn the timer to one minute and select all, and we can run these. that your eyes is on the second from the top um, here. So maybe we're doing some work, good work for your eyes today. Um, and look at that, um, a really great average percent rectification of 62%. Um, it goes from 46. So it is over that 20%. So I wouldn't rescan it at this point 
because it's the range is is greater than that 20 percent but i would deselect all of them and just run the lows and the highs and put the timer on 30 seconds and see if we can get that these numbers a little bit tighter in here. So let's play that a little bit. Okay, so we're at 37% and we, we're going from like 30 to 46. So that's within that 20% range. It's not above 40. We, if it wasn't a demo, I would probably run that again for a little bit, but because it is, um, I'm happy with that. So now we can back out of here and I'm going to just delete the clear tray, the main hole tray. And now I'm gonna go through the same process, but this time with the reds. So I'm going to add in, now remember, I haven't added back my libraries yet. So I'm just gonna add the reds and that added 149 total. And now I can add back my libraries and I will select the top 50. And we can do the same thing now with um, progressive insights. <laughs> So we're at 26%. It is um, tight up here. So that's great. But I would love to try to get that up a little bit. So I am going to deselect the alls and just work with the highs and lows and move it to zero minutes so we can run it for 30 seconds and see if we can get that up a little higher. This is great. The average percent rectification is 60%. And we go, it's slightly over, it's 22, but it's a demo and I'm happy with that. So um, now we can go back to the system overview page. We can clear out the um, main hold tray. And now this is the point where I would then look and work with like what your symptoms are to try to work with that. But I always like to check in and see where you're at be just because to show how impactful these first two steps can be. So um, Jennifer, can you just um, unmic for a second? Are you feeling any change or anything um, after running? I'm not sweating at the moment, so that's great. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but other than that, feel generally the, um, the same. 
maybe like just a little bit clearer, like maybe a little bit more focused. Okay. Your vo- I don't know if anybody would else would agree with me, but I think your voice sounds a little bit more stable to me. It was a little bit more. Um, yeah. More. So um, that is good. So let's go into my custom libraries and I'm going to, I have some library for cold. So I'm just going to add all of these in. These are just like some cold remedies. And I'm going to put in pain, a pain library that I like to use. And I'm just going to add the um, reds and the blues in here. And um, respiratory. And so respiratory, I'm just going to add in, I'm going to add in the reds, the greens, and the blues. And let's look at the miasms. And lastly, let's add in um, some of the um, crystal essences for um, stability and grounding as they are low. And again, I'm going to add in the red, the greens, and the blues here. And let's run these for you. I'm going to put it on one minute. <laughs> And Wendy and Rosalie agreed with me too that your voice sounded stronger. So that's good. So let's see if we can work on getting you a little better here. So I've just selected all of them and I'm going to select play. So we're at 20% there. Now, 20 to 40% is still considered a good rectification, but I'd like to see you feeling a little bit better. So I am going to run these a little longer. I'm putting it on zero minutes and we will just run the highs and the lows and see if we can get that rectification up higher for you. harmony and alignment are exactly at 37% and energy flow at 57. And that's right in that 20% range. So that is amazing. Um, how are you feeling after those? Any change? I think, yeah, I feel a little bit better. And yeah, my voice definitely seems um, stronger now that I think about that. Um, yeah, I, I haven't been sick for five years, so this really kicked my butt. So, yeah, well, good for you that it's been five years, but and yeah. hopefully maybe this will shorten the lifespan and get you feeling better sooner. 
Um, Wendy is asking, what is the graphic circle swirling around in the middle during the treatment? Um, I've been meaning to um, ask about that myself. That is the 3D graphics, and I'm not sure why that is the only thing that I'm seeing. Um, sometimes because I am using it on my MacBook Air, since I have the M1 chip, sometimes with some of these updates, it changes a little bit and then it just needs to be tweaked. So I do need to mention that to Ryan. So thank you for the reminder. Um, but that is part of the 3D graphics. So I don't know if anybody else that has the 3D graphics is seeing that. Are you seeing the graphics any different when you're yeah. running them lately? It's no, it's not on the iPad, that's for sure. So it's just on the MacBook? Yeah. Okay, so whatever reason, I don't know, but that is, I get a special view, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's, um, we're almost at the top of the hour. Let's go look and see what your aura looks like now. This looks much better to me. We're seeing a lot. This is a nice, really nice screen, although it is blurry. So um, there is interference, but the colors coming in are brighter. Um, the middle, we need to see a little bit stronger, but I'm not so surprised that it's a little bit pale given that you're not feeling well. Um, and let's just see what the switch to old looks like. So this looks even much, much better. Um, you are grounded and in your body, their four corners are filled with color. Um, you have a little bit more of this like orangey color coming in, but that does look much better. We could, um, um, let's see, I just want to look at today's stress and I'm just going to add everything from today's stress into the quick zap tray um, and run those for you. We'll just put it on zero minutes. rectification and it's going from 59 to 72. So again, that's within that 20%. We could look and see how that's affected your aura. Um, it looks pretty pretty there, but... <laughs> did like the other one better but sometimes when we run different frequencies it brings other things up that we may want to clear um, you can see this was the color that was coming in before and is now moving out but we do have some other color you still look grounded and in your body so that is great so you know again to try to um, bring some see if we can just adjust that aura a little bit I would probably add in all the neurotransmitters um, I would add in your red and blue emotions and add in some flower essences here. So the, again, the reds and the blues. And let's even add in the brain EEG stuff. So let's just run these. <laughs>
Okay. I'm again, I'm going to, uh, since we're short on time, I'm just going to select all of them. Um, I'll just run them for about 30 seconds. Sixteen percent. So, you know, it's kind of like a crapshoot. Do you run them all again for a little longer? Do you just run the lows? I'm just going to run them all for a little longer and see if we can get a little bit more movement. We're at 26%. Let's just look and see what the aura looks like now. Um, how are you feeling? It I do feel better. Thank you. Really so grateful. We do need to, I would work on the spiritual li um, library a little bit to clear that center. Everything's kind of like coming to the surface. Um, but even this, you're still grounded and in your body and it's filled with color. So I'm happy to see that. But um, just seeing that last item, I would just, um, do you have a minute? I'll just run all of these for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> going to clear these and add all of them. Selecting all. Okay, at 24%, again, it's good, not great, but um, let's just see if it's adjusted that aura any. <laughs> Shit. Um, I'm just glad that that really dark center isn't in your physical body anymore. So again, the colors are coming in brighter in here. Look at the green healing energy is coming in and this icky stuff is moving out. Uh, I'm guessing that could have even have been like what we were just trying to clear. So this looks great to me. I mean, the, the green that's coming in is a really bright green and, and um, looking much healthier to me. So I hope you feel good. Well, how would you rate it? I think you were at a seven before, if you had yeah. a rating. I would feel like I'm down to about four. Great. That's awesome. So that's like I, a 30% um, improvement. So that's- Yeah, that's I do great. feel stronger. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Continue to feel better and drink lots of water. That's always going to be the case normally, but we did run a lot of frequencies um, and they will dehydrate you. So- um, and let me know, uh, send me an email at Denise at Inside Health Apps and let me know um, how you're feeling either later today or even tomorrow. To okay, see. I, I will. Um, I always love getting those, uh, that feedback. 
And anyone else, if you have any questions or you have questions during the week and um, you want me to answer them over the Thursday live, please put it in an email to me again, Denise at Inside Health Apps. And um, I can help you work with some of those questions that you may have. Or again, if somebody wants to volunteer, I'm always happy to take a volunteer. But anyway, um, we're going to sign off for today. So thank you, Jennifer, for volunteering. Really appreciate um, you volunteering. And thank you, Claire, for assisting in the chat room. And to everybody um, that is here today, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next week. So bye-bye, everybody. See you next week.